My name is Lance McNeil. I'm with the City of Austin Small Business Program. In this demonstration video, I want to show you some of the tools and resources available from our Austin Public Library that can help you with your business. Uh, so here I am on the Austin Public Library homepage. That is library.austintexas.gov. Or you can just Google search Austin Public Library and it should bring you here as well. Now from the library homepage, I want to access the virtual library. And this is available to any Austin Public Library card holder. And that library card is free uh, for Austin residents. And you can get a free library card at any of our branch locations during normal business hours. Uh, one very convenient thing about the virtual libraries, I can access it from anywhere I have an internet connection. So here I'll click on the virtual library and go down to the research and database tools and specifically the business link. So I'll click on that and it's going to give me a curated list of database tools for uh, specifically for businesses and nonprofits. Now I want to show you A to Z databases. A to Z databases is a demographic research tool that includes 30 million businesses and 220 million residents in its database. So I'm going to show you how to use this tool to access information about consumer markets. Okay. So once I'm here, I'll click access now. I'll be prompted to enter in my uh, library card number. And once I do, I'll be taken to the A to Z database homepage right here. Okay, so once here, I want to access the residents database. Now for businesses, these could also be consumers. So I'll click here to access that information. And just for an example, I, I used this example in a previous video, uh, but let's say I want to open up a coffee shop in Austin, Texas, and I want to know uh, where people are located and maybe try and find an underserved area that doesn't have as many coffee shops compared to the population. So this information can help me make decisions like that. It allows me to zero in on a specific geography. Uh, so I'll come over here and I will click uh, the city box and that gives me a new box where I can uh, select a state and let's look up Austin. Okay, I just punch in Austin and here it is. So I'll select it and you'll know the city selected because it'll come up here in the selected cities box. All right, so I'll do update count and this database has information uh, on 729 thousand uh, residents in Austin. Uh, there are probably more residents in Austin. This database doesn't have information on all of them, but it gives you a really big sample size to work with. So again, the information here is not perfect, but it does come from several reliable public sources. Uh, so it's pretty good information and especially uh, to be able to access this through your library, uh, a really great resource. Okay, so uh, that's a lot of people to, to start to uh, narrow down. So I might want to say, you know what, let me look at a, a few zip codes here. Or I may have a proposed address and I want to look uh, at a radius around an address. Maybe I found a location I want to open up uh, my coffee shop and I want to understand um, the population or the potential consumer uh, opportunity around my location. So let's let's go with the zip code here. Let me punch in a couple of zip codes. Maybe I'm looking at the uh, 78704. I'm just making things up here. 78701 and 02. So let's look at those three zip codes. And so I'm, I'm working with now, I hit update count and I've got 56,000 uh, potential consumers. So let's search that. And now what I'll get here is uh, a list of uh, potential leads. Uh, again, all this information is public, comes from public records, uh, so it may not be uh, up to date, may not be accurate. And really important here too, um, these numbers and information may be on a do not call list. Uh, so this uh, database uh, does warn you that you're responsible to comply with all applicable laws regarding telemarketing um, and, and other uh, uh, considerations. So. Um, now that I've got this list of information, I can start to uh, analyze it. I can map it out by hitting the map button. And I can see where all these residents might be grouped. And it's loading here. So 
so I can get a heat map of the population that I'm focused on. And the redder the color, the more dense it is. So I can see, uh, here's those zip coats that I've punched in and, and the population, not surprisingly, is uh, relatively very dense here. So I can get a, um, a visual here. Now I can download this visual and include it in my business plan uh, so that you, know, you can illustrate to an investor or lender uh, the density and population in the areas that you're targeting. Um, I can also go back to the results here. Again, here's that download tab. But let me go back to the results and maybe I want to see these three zip codes um, and kind of analyze them against one another. So uh, I'll click on this other tab here called Data Matrix, and that will give me a table option uh, to filter by zip code. So that's what I want to do. And I also want to maybe understand what is the estimated household income. Uh, that's a piece of information I might be interested in. All right. So now I am given a table uh, filtered by estimated household income, zip code, and the number of records there. So in 78702, this is the highest. It's uh, in uh, descending order here between uh, 55,000 and 59,999 income. In 78702, there are approximately 19,000 uh, consumers there. And so each zip code is broken down by... Um, the highest, next highest number of estimated household income, right? So 78704, 02, 01. Now I can do this with any zip code. I could do this with all of Austin. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to narrow down and better understand how big my total accessible market is in Austin if I'm focusing on a specific zip code. Now I can take this information. I can download it. It'll allow me to pull it up in Excel. I'm not going to go through that right now, uh, but Excel uh, gives you the opportunity to uh, really manipulate that information. Great, so let's go back to the results here. Uh, I can export certain uh, lists of people, of consumers, uh, just selecting all here on the top and going to the next page and selecting and selecting. And I can take these records and export them into Excel again by hitting the download button and it'll allow me to pull up an Excel file. Now keep in mind the database limits you to only being able to pull 1,000 records per search. So I'm not gonna be able to go here and select all 2,000 pages of people. I'm only gonna be able to select up to 1,000 at a time and it tells me I've got 100 records selected so I've still got uh, a ways to go. So it's a little tedious going through all these one at a time, but uh, it does give you access to the information and you can download it, put it in Excel and continue uh, to refresh until you have the, the list that you want uh, or the map that you want or the table to help you break down the information and, and make a business decision. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you so far on the uh, residence tab. Uh, I'll go into uh, further detail and show you some other tools and tricks, but this is just a, a brief overview.